Hello everyone, welcome back. And in this lecture, we will learn what is commuted property and why we use that. For this, we have this simple and interesting example. In this example, we have simple game where I have cash and I have two player to bet on. So in here, I am displaying my cash down there how much I bet on A and down there how much I bet on B. After that, I am displaying how much money will left after I bet on A. And down there, I have a button which will bet on player A with 5 rupees or you can say dollar, whatever you want. And next to it, I have B. It will first display how much money I left if I bet on B and button is to bet on B with 7 rupees. Now in our JS we have cash 200, how much money we bet on player A 0 or B 0 and we have two method 2A which is referring to this after A, how much money we have after betting on A and 2B will return us how much money we left after betting on B. Alright, so let's test it. If I bet on A, after A my cash is 185 because I am betting 15 rupees from 200. That's why I am getting 185. Now let's reset it. And if I bet on player 2 which reduces 7, I get 193. And this is how our app works. So this is working perfectly fine. Now what is computed property and why it replaces methods? As the name suggests, computed property will let you calculate stuff. So in here we are calculating our remaining cash after we bet on A and B. This can be a computed property. But here we used method and this is working perfectly fine. So why we use computed property? Well, using method may result in performance hit because when we change any of these A and B or I can say when I bet on A or B both method will execute. Let me explain a little bit. If I click on bet 5, this will calculate this cash minus this player A and it will also calculate this cash minus this player B. But we are only betting on A and still it is executing this 2B function. Let me show you that. Now if I run open our console ok now we have space now if I click on alright now if I click on A which will bet on player A it is executing this one and also this one so we are betting on just player A so it is calculating our remaining money which is 195 but still it is executing this method which is second one 2B but we are not betting on player B and this is how methods in Vue.js works whenever we use value from method when there's changes in DOM it will rerun this method to get accurate result so even if I am just changing A it is still executing B to stay updated but we are not changing B so we should not execute that method and for this computed property comes in computed property will only calculate necessary stuffs like in here we only want to calculate for A and not for B so here we will use computed property for creating computed property we have computed property yeah and in here I will write our first computed property which is 2a and this will be same as return this dot cash minus this dot player a okay so this is our code for computed property in here I have computed property in our view instance and in that property we have object as a value which have 2a property which is function and 2b property which is also function 
and I am using ES6 so if you don't know ES6 this can be like this to a property and it is a function and shorthand is this one simply to a now this also returns us same as methods so let's comment our method and in here if you want to use computed property you don't have to define these round brackets just like this because it is property now let's run it yeah it is working perfectly fine yeah now let's check that now let's check our performance is there any performance issues all right now it is only executing a and if i click on b it is only executing that b completed property perfectly fine so summary when you will use computed property computed property can be useful when you want to catch the value just like in our example we don't want to recalculate all the stops we just want to calculate what's changing and you will use computed property mostly when you will use vx for state management but that will be in later stage no need to worry right now so this is how you can get value using computed property and in next video i will show you how you can get value from computed property and also how you can set a computed property see you in next